Today I'm going to show you how to remove or add pages into your Apple Pages document. As you can see, I got three pages right now. Let's zoom in a bit. I even put a footer telling me this is page number one out of three, two and three. Usually when you got a page and it seems blank, there is actually something on it. So somebody at a empty line or add a page break on it so if you click on that page you will see a blinking cursor if you try to like delete a letter even you cannot see anything just try to delete something use the backspace to delete and we just delete page number three how about page number two in this case there's several empty lines here so if you delete all of the empty unnecessary lines you will go back to page number one that that's usually a case the program automatically add a new page whenever you got not enough space on the previous page. So if you put image that is too large or you put text or you simply put empty lines, it will create additional page for you. It's also a special method of dividing your document into pages. So if you are like halfway through document, you shouldn't just keep adding, let's say, empty lines. So let's say you've got some text on it. And that's enough for this page. You want to move to the next page. Don't just add empty lines. Click insert at the top and search for page break. Click on that and you will jump to the next page straight away. And then you can start typing this new page. But if you want to delete this extra page, again, keep deleting everything. And even nothing's here, you must keep deleting. And we are jump back to page number two. So that's how you can add or remove pages from your Apple Pages documents. I hope this short tutorial was helpful. Let's check the next lesson about Apple Pages.